Hey, it's Marcel Allen here, and I've got a question for you. Now, this is a very specific business question for people who are selling something in their business. Now, what is your track to run on? This question comes from my sales coach, Eric Lofholm, who's taught me about creating my own track to run on. So if you have a typical job and you get paid every other Friday, you get a big chunk of money every other Friday. So you get two, maybe three, chunks of income every other Friday. Now, if you're selling internet marketing products or you are selling workshops or you're selling services or something else, ice cream cones, you aren't always looking at a paycheck. You're looking at, I have to get X amount of sales X amount of times a day or X amount of times a week. So I've noticed with my particular client base right now is everybody's very, very different. Some people focus on Monday is their sales day, they go out, they hit the phones, they generate a couple sales, and then they do it again the next Monday. Some people, if you've got an online funnel set up, you're going to maybe get three sales a day, maybe three sales an hour, maybe three sales a month, depending on how well the offer is converting. Now, this question isn't, or this video isn't to tell you what you should be, it's just to help you think and get clear you know, if you want to make an extra $5,000 a month or an extra $1,000 a month, how many sales do you need to have on a weekly or monthly basis to get there? Now, I'm actually going through this process right now for myself in the Remarkable Room because it would be just awesome at this point to sell one a day and have that be, you know, seven a week. If that were to happen, that would be remarkable for my business. But there'll come a point where I'll want to do two a day or 10 a day, right? So the idea that you're tracked to run on, you can look at it on a daily basis, a weekly basis, or a monthly basis. Then of course your annual track to run on is how many sales did you actually have? So it's kind of fun for me to think about it, but I wanted to just throw that out there right now. What is your track to run on from a sales quota or sales cycle? And if you don't have one, Come up with one. Think about, you know, reverse engineer it. If you want to make X, how many sales do you have to make and how fast do you want to get there? Uh, I'm curious to hear how you guys measure your particular personal sales performance or your sales quota if you have one for yourself. Um, and if you can answer me a question below in the comments on YouTube, that would be excellent. Thanks and I encourage you guys to think about what is your track to run on? And another thing too is it's going to change. Some weeks you're going to sell a lot more of one thing and maybe another month it'll be something different. But again, where performance is measured, performance improves. So we at least have to start with what's the track? Are we, are we tracking daily sales weekly or monthly? And then how many of that? So I hope that's helpful and just be thinking about, well, what is my track to run on? And then eventually you can say, well, how, how much faster do I want to go around the track? Thanks, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.